rev up your engines. Eventually car batteries go bad. How do you decide how to buy the right one for your car? Now years ago when I was young, batteries didn't cost much. You could get them for 35 bucks, so it was no big deal picking out a battery. But these days it is a pretty big deal. Look at the prices. They're not giving them away. So I'm going to give you a little battery lesson. When I was a kid, <clears throat> we had batteries naked. They were vacuum sealed. We'd break the vacuum seal, then fill them with acid when a customer needed a battery. And they were vacuum sealed for a reason. They had an indefinite shelf life that way. Today at the factory, they're filled with acid. So they start to deteriorate the minute they're built and acid is put in. Now filling the batteries with acid as a factory is not a good idea because they start to deteriorate. And in this case, if you look closely, you can see this one is made in Korea. So it's filled with acid in Korea, and then they ship it on a boat here to the United States. It can take a long time between it being made and you actually installing it in your car. I've seen that particular brand of battery. Sometimes they last a year or two, and that's it because of this. In a sense, batteries are kind of like eggs. Now, all batteries are dated. This is an easy one to read. It just says 8 of 13, so it was made 8 of 13. So when you're buying a battery, look at the date. And don't buy one that's more than one or two months old because it's deteriorated. So you want to buy your battery from a place that sells a lot of batteries. Now don't be fooled by some of these chain stores where they have a pyramid of batteries sitting there. Some of those batteries are in that pyramid for months and they're not going to last long. So always check the date of your battery. Then comes the question, should you buy a battery that has a removable top where you can add battery water? Or should you get a sealed one that you can't add battery water to? Now this decision depends on you. Because if you're the type of person that's never going to check the battery water, buy one of the sealed batteries. Of course they're not perfectly sealed. They still have vents to vent some gas. But they're smaller vents, so they'll lose water a lot slower than a non-sealed battery. But they will eventually run out of battery acid inside. Then you got to replace the battery. The old style batteries, they got tops you can take off. And you can look inside and check the water level. So if you're diligent like me, you can add distilled water when it gets low and these batteries will actually last longer. But if you aren't diligent, they'll last a shorter time. So that depends on you whether you're going to check the water or not. Now there are other types of batteries out there you can use that last a really long time, like I have in my motorcycle here. It has a lithium iron battery, not lithium ion, but lithium iron phosphate. Now it's an entirely electronic battery with no acid in it at all, and it's about a hundred bucks and it works great in a motorcycle. But due to manufacturing process and economy of scale, the ones for cars cost a whole bunch of money and generally only racers use them. Because here's a lithium iron phosphate battery for a car and it starts at $620. So odds are you're going to be buying a conventional battery for your vehicle. But if your vehicle comes with a more modern battery like this absorbed glass mat battery, it is a good idea to still use an absorbed glass mat battery when it's time to replace it because your charging system was designed for such a battery. These batteries do cost a little bit more, but they still have acid in them and the same rules for buying them applies as with regular water acid batteries. So the next time your car battery goes bad, you know how to replace it. More quick fixes on the Scotty Kilmer channel. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.